If you're thinking about doing something to get a slimmer abdomen, then you have three choices. You can put in the work at the gym, get a tummy tuck or liposuction. But which one should you get if you're considering the tummy tuck or the liposuction? Well, today we're going to answer that very question and some of you aren't going to like the answer. So let's get started. Just to make sure we're all on the same page, a tummy tuck is a surgical procedure where an incision is made across the lower abdomen and then the stomach muscles are all pulled back together followed by removal of any excess skin or fat. Liposuction, on the other hand, is a surgical procedure where excess fat is removed from the body using hollow metal tubes hooked up to suction. That's it, just fat, no excess skin removal and no muscle tightening. So then who does the best with just liposuction alone? In my opinion, it's younger patients with good skin elasticity and isolated deposits of fat that won't go away with diet and exercise. All that youthful skin elasticity helps to contract the skin after we get rid of the fat, leading to a much better body contour. It also helps with isolated deposits of fat like in the upper and lower abdomen, the love handles, and the bra line. All of these areas respond really well to liposuction. It also helps to have a lower BMI because as you get higher in the body mass index numbers, the more fat you have around your internal organs. So I could lipo someone with a BMI in the mid 30s and take the same exact amount of fat as someone with maybe a BMI in the mid to upper 20s. And the person with a BMI in their 30s may still look like they have a belly because of all the extra fat around the internal organs pushing against the abdominal wall. So instead of having a nice flat tummy, they have like a, maybe a little bit of a curvature, a little roundness to it. So who should get a tummy tuck and who should just get liposuction? While a lot of you wish you could just have lipo to get the body of your dreams, unfortunately, it isn't the answer for some of you. In my opinion, these are the people that should have a tummy tuck instead of just liposuction alone. If you've had multiple children, there is a great chance a tummy tuck is going to give you the abdomen that you want. Even one child can result in you needing a tummy tuck. The reason is that your abdominal muscles are likely stretched apart, resulting in an increase in the volume that your abdomen can expand into. So no matter how much you diet and exercise, you still have a fullness to your abdomen that you just can't quite get it flat enough. You also likely have stretched out skin. So if we do liposuction alone and we deflate all that skin, there's a high chance of causing that stretched out skin to become saggy, wrinkly stretched out skin, which I guarantee you will like even less. I also recommend older patients with extra skin and fat in their abdomen to have a tummy tuck as well. Older patients, like in their late 40s, 50s, and 60s, have less elasticity to their skin than someone in their 20s. So if you have an abdomen that has hanging skin, there's a high chance you'll have that hanging skin after liposuction alone, because your skin just can't contract like it used to. The last group of patients that I steer away from liposuction alone are massive weight loss patients. Patients that have lost over 100 pounds have skin that has been stretched for far too long. And making that worse are stretch marks. Those do not allow for the skin to recoil at all after the fat is removed. The other reason is that massive weight loss patients have extra skin. That skin had to expand to accommodate all that extra weight that they were carrying before. All that exercise that you did in the gym did a great job of building muscle and burning fat, but the one thing it won't do is tighten up your skin. You need me for that. Unfortunately, stretched out skin just doesn't respond to exercise. But here's the thing, if you need a tummy tuck, there is a high chance you need lipo as well. And to learn all about why your tummy tuck needs more than just a tuck, you can click on this video right here. I'm Dr. Paul Pierce, and I hope you learned something today. I'll see you in the next video.